Hello everyone, and welcome to the AMC, I mean not, the Amtrak 350, and Denny Hamlin is not racing because he already won a race, and uh, winners don't race until the chase starts, because if you win, you're in. That's how the thing works. And so this is going to be 20 laps. We're going to pit laps 6 to 7 and 16 through 17. Go for the for the Amtrak three fifty. So we start off with Kurt Bush in the lead. Wow, look at Eric Jones all the way to the bottom for the lead. Takes it away from Chris Buescher. Kevin Harvick to the bottom. Jimmy Johnson's with him. What the heck was that? They just like hit the wall. This lap three and Eric Jones still has a lead. Matt Kenseth looks like he's catching up. So is Jimmy Johnson. Chris Buescher still has the bottom lane. Oh, Buescher all the way to the bottom. As he slides into second. Two more laps until we get to pits. Oh, and I forgot to say, hello, this is Vic Starity here at the beginning. So, everybody forgets once in a while. And also, one of the racers is representing myself. That number eight with the Roblox, that's fixed dirty. That's me right there. And Eric Jones still has the leader right now. Wait. What the? Oh my god, that was so close. And Chris Busher looks like to be catching up. May do a little more when we get into pit road.
Everyone's split up. It's getting a little weird. But hey, we have a new leader. Eric Jones lost a lot on that pit on pit road. They're gonna now they're gonna have to go make up that gap themselves. And Vixterity is looking to the bottom with Chris Busher. He does and he takes the lead. Vixterity takes the lead. Whoa. Chris Busher certainly slides to the bottom and gets the lead back. Eric Jones wants the same thing. Oh, look at how fast he was into that turn. And he takes it back. He's going to go back into the long, comfortable league that he wants. That's just background music. Whoa, what happened to Eric Jones there? He didn't even take the bottom. But Vic Starity and Chris Busher going to make it three wide. Busher takes the lead back. This could go on forever. Let's look at the second pack. This includes uh, Matt Kenseth, Ryan Ellis, Jimmy Johnson, and Robert Richardson Jr. They're looking to catch up too. Things are not working so well for, for Jimmy and Kenseth. Well, while this three, while this three sum of leaders here are just looking to win in advance. Lap 11. We're halfway through this race. After this, we got one more. Uh, five laps. We have one more pit stop to go, which is at lap 16 to 17, as I told you. This is the 12th lap, and uh, Eric Jones still has a lead. Nothing has changed so much. Boy, this race is getting boring. I feel like we're going to fall asleep. But I can't. Because I can't fall asleep on the job. It's like Larry Daly in Night of the Museum. Doing the night shift. In the Museum of Natural History. And I very well that, and I very well remember that Easter. Uh, that Easter Island head. Who kept calling him Dum Dum. <sighs> I thought that was kind of funny, which it is. But anyway, that second pack that I talked about is caught up to Chris Busher and Vixterity. Now all of them are forming, and all of them are going to form. Wait, did I already say thirteen? No, this is 14. Eric Jones has a comfortable lead. He's very good at this track. Oh. 
Don't worry. Not not much of a big deal. I've never seen a lead that big. Eric Jones just keeps putting on the fast laps. While Vic Sterity and Chris Buescher try to catch him. Up oh, here they come to pit road. Lap 17 for the second pit stop. I know that pit road can be such a live in hell. But you gotta pit. Because otherwise you're gonna run out of fuel, your tires are gonna blow, and you won't have a good day. And your fans are gonna call, and, and the fans are gonna think you're a bad driver. Oh, but Chris Bush looks like he's catching up. Finally, I see something happening. Not the same thing. Chris Buescher looks to make up some ground. It looks like Julian reaches number eight. I mean, uh, Vixterity. Vixterity's number eight car. Looking to catch up. But Buescher's behind him. Here we come to the white flag. One lap to go. I know this race kind of sucked. And I'm sorry if it did. But we still must give credit to the person who was leading almost the entire race. Eric Jones says they see coming around the hairpin one more time. Nor Vixterity or Chris Bush is going to catch him. Eric Jones wins it. Wins the Amtrak 350 and will be our second contender in the chase. Anyway, uh, We'll see you in the third race at Chicagoland. Congrats. Goodbye.